just having a play with uh, ChatGPT, uh, this playground that OpenAI have made available at the moment. Uh, really impressed with it. Can't work out if this is just a novelty that's going to go away or a real inflection point, like a new form of virtual assistant, it's like, like a Google or an iPhone or something. But we'll see. Uh, anyway, what you do is you say, write a tagline for an ice cream, cream shop. There you go. And then press submit. And it thinks for a bit, which is reasonable because it's looking through like everything it's ever learned. Cool off with a scoop of our delicious ice cream. But the interesting thing, apart from that being quite amazing, and the thing that's different from like Googling for some ideas is uh, press submit again, taste the sweetness of our delicious ice cream. It comes up with new original content each time. So suddenly plagiarism is different, right? Because you didn't make this yourself. I don't know who to credit because it's learned from everything it's ever read and it's different every time. So you can't like do that thing where you compare it against existing sources because it isn't from an existing source. It's built upon what it's learned from existing sources. Anyway, as a teacher, I find this fascinating. Okay. So um, for example, things like homework and coursework, potentially irrelevant now, right? Because um, say your French teacher has said, write a simple, I'm going to put the word simple in the instructions here, uh, paragraph graph, uh, write a short, simple paragraph about my family in French. Now, admittedly, it won't be about my actual family, so I appreciate this isn't perfect, but I'm impressed that it just does it, right? So you've got some homework. Um, maybe I want it longer than that, so I could just increase it. I could, you know, it's amazing. I just wanted to make sure it used relatively simple language. Um, you know, and uh, biology homework, one of my students told me about recently was um, write about specialist cells. And I was like, which ones, plant, animal? And they were like, oh, I didn't say. So write a short paragraph about specialist cells in biology. Press go. And this, by the way, this makes like songs, it can do poems that rhyme. It's really quite cool. Not perfect but so different than anything I think we've ever seen before. Uh, specialist cells are cells that have been adapted to carry specific functions. Good introduction. Examples of specialist cells include red blood cells, carry oxygen, nerve cells, transmit electrical signals, uh, also found in plants, covered plants and animals, such as guard cells, which control the opening, closing stomata, and maybe some of that herbivores, repel herbivores. I mean, depends what age we're working with, right? Uh, you could put, and I don't know if this will work on this example, but you can like say in the style of a, I'm going to put seven year old, right? I think, you know, a seven year old probably isn't going to be that good at writing about specialist cells, but uh, it's put some exclamation marks in. Specialist cells in biology are really cool. They're like tiny robots that help your body do different things. The fact that you can give it that nuance is amazing. Uh, I ha also have had a go, and I've probably used up all my free preview goes in a minute here, uh, a GCSE coursework question. So write a 1,000 word essay, because there's, there's a word limit on this essay project, titled, How Significant, and thank you to some history teachers who told me about this, uh, was the Great Depression for Germany? Pretty open question, right? Submit, see what it does. Okay, now I'm not a historian, so you know the dates might be very slightly out. And it's stopped here. This preview seems to stop after a preview. I mean, I haven't mucked around with any of the settings here. Um, but you know, and the fact that this is different every time, so there's no plagiarism, and the fact you can tailor the question to, you know, make it appear in a certain way just feels like a lot of that knowledge-based stuff is not relevant. I'll do a couple of fun ones uh, just before I finish the video. Um, how are we doing? We, yeah. And uh, so write a haiku about l losing your keys. It's always annoying. A bit. Lost my keys in a rush. Searching everywhere. No luck. Where could they be now? There you go. 
is this just a novelty? Is this going to change the way everything works? Um, that this thing can just build new things based on the collected knowledge of everyone. Um, very interesting. Uh, quite fun to play with. Uh, this was at beta.openai.com slash playground.